Every string has a set of frequencies at which it naturally vibrates. Each frequency is associated with a standing wave pattern. Standing wave patterns, like this one, consist of nodes and antinodes. A node is a point along the string that appears to be standing still. A point of node displacement. Nodes. An antinode is the opposite. It's a point along the medium that undergoes a maximum positive and maximum negative displacement. Each frequency at which a string naturally vibrates is known as a harmonic frequency. The lowest frequency harmonic is the first harmonic or fundamental frequency. Other frequency values in the set of natural frequencies are whole number multiples of this fundamental frequency and are referred to as the second harmonic, third harmonic, fourth harmonic, etc. This is the standing wave pattern for the first harmonic. It has one antinode and one half wavelength in the string. The wavelength of the first harmonic is always two times the length of the string. If the string is 60 centimeters in length, then the wavelength is 120 centimeters. The wavelength of the other harmonics are fractions of this wavelength, like one half, one third, one fourth, the wavelength of the first harmonic. Compared to the first harmonic, the second harmonic has twice the frequency and one half the wavelength and two antinodes. It looks like this. The third harmonic has three times the frequency and one third the wavelength of the first harmonic, and you know it's the third harmonic by the three antinodes in the pattern. The fourth harmonic has four times the frequency and one fourth the wavelength of the first harmonic, and you know it's the fourth because of its four antinodes. You likely noticed a pattern in these patterns. This table summarizes the relationship between the pattern, the frequency and wavelength values, and the number of antinodes for the first several harmonics. In general, if you know the frequency of any harmonic, you can determine the frequency of all the harmonics. And if you know the string length, you can determine the wavelength of the first harmonic and the wavelength for all the harmonics. Here is the first of two examples. The first harmonic has a frequency of 100 Hz. Other harmonic frequencies are whole number multiples of 100 Hz. The 500 Hz harmonic has five times the frequency and is thus the fifth harmonic. So the pattern would have five antinodes, like this one. Here is our second example. The first harmonic of this string would have a wavelength of 150 centimeters, always twice the length of the string. The wavelength of other harmonics would be fractions of 150 centimeters, like one half, one third, one fourth, etc. The 50 centimeter wavelength is one third of 150 centimeters and is thus representing the third harmonic and has three antinodes in its pattern, like this one. I'm Mr. H, letting you know that you got this.